Mike Jones. Yo, sir. DJ Paul and Juicy J Productions. Seal, Mike Jones. Swish your house. Mike Jones. Yeah. Hypnotize mine. Def Jam Icon! I thought I'd make a review on this game. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a 5 out of 10 for that game. Yeah, I said 5. Uh, some people are hating on this game. Some people like the game. I'm 50-50 with the game. Um... That's why I shook, I shook my Tic Tacs at you. What? Um, yeah, Def Jam Icon is quite interesting. Because I, I saw people actually say give some bad reviews about this game saying it's just ultimate crap. So I thought, hmm, maybe I should order this game. Yes, I ordered the game. And, um... The game was quite interesting actually to me. I, I kind of found it interesting because I could customize my character again. I couldn't choose his voice or nothing. He just, they just gave him a, a voice. Um, the graphics are pretty interesting. There's a couple of good songs on there. One of my favorites as you heard it. That's just one of my favorite tracks on the game. N no, actually that is my favorite track on the game. Just, just listen. Mike Jones! Yes, sir. DJ Paul and Juicy J Productions. Shit! Mike Jones! Swish your house. Mike Jones! Yeah! Hypnotize mine! favorite track on that game. Uh, I know people have been playing like games like Def Jam Vendetta and Def, Jam, Def Jam Vendetta and Def Jam Fight for New York. Those were some good games because you could create a finish. He had some dangerous finishes on there that just was so raw and the characters on there was pretty good. The customizations you could do to your character yeah okay so this game came out on ps3 and people was expecting something even better something above above it above the other death jam games that recently came out that yeah not recently but you know what i'm saying um the overall story i kind of like this anthony anderson is a bad guy that was funny to me troy dollar but um yeah it was I kinda like the game still. It, at times it did become hard as hell to play. Like there was this cop guy that was uh, harassing my one of my characters, young Jeezy. But uh, I went up against him. I could not beat this guy. This guy kept whooping my ass. Um and I was starting I was starting to get really angry about it too. Young Jeezy. I I I did not like fighting as young Jeezy, man. Trying to get this cop off his back. Young Jeezy got this kung fu thing going on, man. Street Kwondo or whatever. I'm all about the the, the the ghetto blaster. You know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 son. Boom. Like that. Uh. Yeah. It was still a, still a good story, though, I think. Uh. 
I hope the second one will be a lot better. Because if you think about it, Def Jam Vendetta, it wasn't all that either. I mean, you had you had like your finishers and everything, and you had it had a couple of good soundtracks on it. But you couldn't create a character. You had to go with whatever they gave you. Like there was four characters you had to choose from, and you just had to go with one of them. And that was pretty gay on their behalf. And the character did not have a voice either. So they brought out the next best thing. The second, the sequel to D Def Jam and Data. And did we like it? Yeah, we did. That's a 10 out of 10 for Def Jam and Data right there. Uh, I mean, fight for New York. So I, I reckon if they bring out a second one, uh, of Def Jam I Icon because I, I know at the end of the game it says they're going to send some guy in trying to find out who the produ this new producer guy is that's on the block they're going to he's probably they're probably going to make your character look like some bad guy now in the second one like remember how D-Mob was um, a bad guy in the first one but became a good guy in the second one I think they're gonna flip the script on you in 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 the next Dev Jam icon. Started off as a good guy, turned out you was a bad guy or something. I don't know. It's gonna be weird. But I say give the second one a chance. I know you guys probably didn't like the first one, but you guys gave Dev Jam Fight for New York a chance, and was it the bomb or what? So. I can't wait for the second one to come out, plain and simple. But overall, Fight for New York, eh, it was so-so. I mean, why not Fight for New York? Why keep saying that? Ugh. Def Jam Icon, it was so-so. It was 50-50, so I'm going to just have to give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, yeah. That's my review, so. Hate on it, love on it. Uh, post a comment. That's what I thought about the game. Uh, DJ Paul and Juicy J Production. Shield. Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. Swisher House. Mike Jones.